darcela duro, duro, duro. Capra ignorante. Hello guys and welcome back to the 22nd episode of Italian Politician of the Week. I am Ipernik and I make weekly videos on Italian politics and history in English. Today we are talking about Virginia Raggi, the mayor of Rome since 2016. Raggi is very unique, she is the first woman to be mayor of Rome, as well as the first member of the Five Star Movement and probably the youngest mayor our capital ever had. However, her time in office is very controversial due to her long history of doing questionable things. This is not the first time I talked about Raji in my channel. About one year ago, I made a video about her which hasn't aged as badly as I expected. That ones that saw it when it came out will remember it. As for the rest, I'm afraid it is now unlisted. So you can't watch it anymore. But if we reach 20 likes, I will release the link in the comments and in the community section. Not only that, if we reach 30 likes, I will make another video about the upcoming election in Rome that has a wide variety of characters fighting for the mayorship. The election will take place in September or something, so expect it to come out sometime then. Without further ado, let's begin. Raggi was born in 1978 in Rome. She became a lawyer in 2003 and in 2011 she joined the Five Star Movement. In 2013 she was elected to Rome's city council with about 1500 preferential votes. She became mayor in 2016 after her predecessor Ignazio Marino had to resign in response to the many accusations of corruption. At the last Roman election she won with 45% of the vote. Although her many supporters have reduced in numbers significantly in the last five years. Let's have a look at her political compass. Raji is a left-wing populist. She wants to implement social reforms in order to improve the quality of life as well as to expand the reach of Roman institutions. She is in the right quadrant, however, since she doesn't seem to focus on social rights as much as hunting for supposedly corrupt politicians, undermining the judicial branch in doing so. Raji is in many ways like most five-star politicians. She is young, full of energy and an idealist. Rome is a jungle. It's an environment like House of Cards, full of backstabs, weird maneuvers, manipulation and there is a substantial amount of involvement by illegal groups, you know, like the mafia and stuff. Governing such a city would be considered extremely hard for any veteran in politics. Despite the huge challenge, Raji has tried her best to make her vote voters proud, although when we look at the results, let's just say it becomes hard to remain optimistic. Let's go through some notable events in order. One of Raji's first acts as mayor was cancelling the Rome Olympics that were supposed to happen in 2024. Her reasons were that the city just couldn't afford to host such an expensive event and that there wouldn't have been any incentive in doing so. However, according to a study from the University of Tor Vergata, not hosting the Olympics caused a loss of 7.1 billion euros in gross revenue and also an estimated loss of 40,000 jobs opportunities. At the time, the debt of Rome was 13 billion. She could have paid half of it back if she only allowed the Olympics to happen. This event is often shown as an example that Raji just cannot think long term. Either that or she has a poor grasp of Keynesian economic theory, which is concerning. Raji's list of failures doesn't stop here. Even after the millions of euros invested in trash collection, the city has barely seen any improvement in that sector something that uh, the right wing marches a lot onto. The same goes with the public transport, due to the lack of management of the state-owned bus company ATAC many of their buses would often catch fire. In a 2017 opinion poll to measure the approval rating of the local administrators of regions and cities of Italy, Raggi resulted only the 88th best mayor with only 44.4% of approval. Furthermore, the 2018 Quality of Life in Italy survey jointly conducted by Italia Oggi, a financial newspaper, and Roma 3 University emerged that since the previous survey in, in 2017, 
2017, the perceived quality of life in Rome under the administration of Raji had dropped of 18 places, from 67th to 85th, making Rome the biggest faller in that ranking. All the administrative failures made a lot of people lose faith in Raji. The disappointment was fueled by the media that contributed to spreading rumors about Raji that further worsened her reputation. The spread of gossip was favored also by the fact that since she was a woman, it was easier to judge her also for superfluous stuff like fashion or makeup. Raji will often complain about the double standards of the media, pointing out the redundant yet very true problems of sexism in our institutions. Allow me to quote myself from one year ago. While it is true that no one was taking her seriously a few years ago, I doubt it is all about gender, even though it played a role. Misogyny doesn't make buses burst on fire. Despite the harsh words I dedicated to Raji last year, I ended the video with optimism and hope for the future. Was I right? I mean, sort of? She handled Corona all right in general. Roman healthcare never collapsed, the vaccine campaign is still going, Lazio doesn't have that many cases compared to other regions, and yeah, overall I would say she did okay pandemic-wise. However, when it came to everything else, including the problem with trash and criminality, little change. Changed, aside of an increase of maintenance of the infrastructure. I'm willing to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that she could have made the difference if it hadn't been for the current historical events, but as it stands I really doubt she will be re-elected. She decided to run again despite her saying she wouldn't at the beginning of her term, but yeah, whatever, she has Giuseppe Conte and the entire 5 star movement backing her up, but other than that not much else seems to be going for her. I'm willing to bet she's going to get around 16% at most, take it or leave it. I have a feeling that the elections in Rome are going to be very lit this year, so stay tuned for those. I'd say that's it for today, remember to like and subscribe, I will see you next time with a brand new politician, or almost.